There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl A, and today I came just to play. Like literally, we're going to play today. Like seriously, we've been playing some beauty cosmetic products from She In. Okay, you know She In that dress, y'all. She In that makeup, y'all. She In that hair, y'all. She In that She In. Okay, so if y'all have never heard of She In, I don't know where y'all been, but She In has everything: from home decor, shoes, animal decor, animal apparel, men's decor, men clothing, women's decor, women clothing, kids clothing, home decor, kitchen decor, car decor. You name it, they got a bunch of stuff that you can definitely get and be happy about your purchase. Plus, the prices are definitely affordable. Y'all know how I feel about Shein. Once you get on that app, girl, you'll be hooked, okay? So, Shein sent me a bunch of little items, a bunch of different cosmetic things, and also I did get their new cosmetic line that they have just came out from She Glam. She Glamorous. That's what it stands for, She Glamorous. But they do have a new line that came out with their makeup. So I'll definitely be showcasing that. Plus, they did send me a bunch of other little beauty cosmetics that I'm going to be trying out with you guys. I might not try them on or on my face, but I will definitely swatch if need be, okay? Okay, so let's begin this. Okay, we're gonna get into this. All right, so I went ahead and I had took off my makeup earlier. I just left the eyes on because I did think for some certain reason that I was going to be getting their primer, which was supposed to be sent, but I don't have it. And from what I've read, I've read good reviews about their primer. It gets really, really sticky and it'll definitely hold your foundation so but let's begin with the things that they did send me this is more like self-care this is like a self-care thing now for one let me tell y'all i do put this on my face this is the nivea cream it gives me great moisturization on my skin especially under any type of makeup that i may apply um first of all i am oily i do have oily skin but when i wash my face i do wash it every night with noxema and it will dry it out and i don't really want to come on here with a dried out face so you know, dry skin is really not what's up. Oily skin ain't to either, I guess, but this will bring me some moisture. It might not make my face oily like normally, but it'll definitely give me some moisture, especially under my eyes where I need it the most. So for one, these eyelashes that I have on Girl Look, these are so cute, very pretty lashes. Shein has a bunch of different lashes. Keep in mind, I did have to cut them. I did cut them like two clusters at the end, only because they would have gave me like a droopy eye. The one thing that I do like about these is they're not too big, they're not too overdone, they're not too dramatic, but they're also clear bands. So if you struggle with doing eyeliner and you really can't do eyeliner for eyelashes, you can check out their clear bands. They have loads of different clear bands. That's what I buy from there. Clear bands are really easy to put on. They are not even noticeable. They look like they're growing out of your lash lids and you don't need any type of eyeliner when wearing clear bands. So that's the one thing that I was happy about with these, that these came with clear bands. Plus I do like the whole aesthetic look of the tray. And also I do like the way they did design these eyelash. I think for the most part, they look really nice. They don't look natural, but they don't look over dramatic. They look just perfect. You can wear something like these on a daily basis, you know, because it's just not so much eyelash. I don't know about you guys, but I don't really like a whole lot of eyelash. Then they also did send this cute little makeup traveling bag, which I thought was really cute, girl. I was like, oh, I could use this for a concert if I really wanted to. It has a cute little pearl, faux pearl on the side. Really chic and cute. So if you're going on a trip or you just like to carry your makeup with you every day, then you can put this in your bag. Now, I don't know about you guys, but everybody likes to get a little fancy with their gems. So here goes some face stickers, tattoo glitter. You can put this on your skin, put it on with some eyelash glue these are really really cute so it does come with two different sheets and it does give you instructions on the back on how to use them i'm pretty sure you should know how i don't think they stick on onto your skin so you'll definitely need some type of adhesive if you're going to be putting them on your eyes i would suggest like some eyelash glue don't get carried away and put real glue on your eyes but there's a variety of them now this product had me mind blown i really didn't know what this was i had to look it up on a barcode this is a nose reshaper from the reviews that i read one person did say it was working for them one person said it didn't not for me i love my nose so if you don't like your nose then i guess this would be for you but i love my nose the way it is but i'm going to show you guys how it works just take this has some rubber little pieces and you just have to squeeze it on your nose and you would wear it like so. This is probably good for me though when I'm trying to sing, you know, it might, it might help my vocals a little bit. I will tell you though, by squeezing this into my nose, I could feel a little bit more air going up my nostrils. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, girl, but listen, if you don't like your nose shape and you're just trying to reshape it, girl, try to get you one of these. Now, you do have to wear it for a certain particular amount of hours. I don't know about sleeping with anything like this on, you know, I, I'm not going to advise you because I, listen, I'm not going to advise you. But I will tell you that this is a nose reshaper. And over a matter of time, if you do wear it constantly, constantly, 
it will reshape your nose. So that is what I read and one of the comments did say so there. So kind of different. I never heard of anything like this. I guess this helps with without getting any type of cosmetic um, reconstruction, but over time it says it will work for you. Yeah, I, I like my nose pretty much. You know, I've been living with it for almost 50 years now, so I pretty much like my nose. Now this is the one thing that I thought was so damn cute, which is this facial cleansing scrubber. So, you know, they have like the most aesthetically pleasing type of items on Shein. From makeup to clothes to just accessories to, to home decor, they have so many cute items. And I thought this was so cute. It gives you like this whole teddy bear look. And on each side, there is like a little bumpiness on this side and on this particular side too. So you can just go ahead and scrub and clean your face. And on the other side, I guess you could use this for if you decided to put like a mud mask on your face or anything like that. This would definitely come in handy. I'm going to give this to my daughter Mumsy because she loves stuff like this. Now, I don't really use these right here. I'm going to put these in the refrigerator and this is just massages your face. Though I could use a good massage. These are best used when they're cold and you just use them on your skin. I guess it's supposed to smooth your skin out. Now, this is a very nicely made one. And then it comes with this extra piece right here. Girl, I don't really know what this was for, okay? But from what I was told, I don't really know what this this piece is for. This one has a nice weight to it. I've seen some that only have one roller. This one is a double-sided roller with pop in the refrigerator and you know, get to rolling on your face. Now, when I seen this, I was like, bubbler, what, what is this? What do I do with this? So once again, I had to look up the reviews. You know, I just typed in the barcode right here, the number on the barcode in the search, and I found out what it does. And a lot of people really actually really do like this. It's for your facial cleansers. So what you do is you put in a little drop of your facial cleanser and a, a little bit of water and it's supposed to foam up and just make like a lot of foam. You're just supposed to keep pressing up and down. So I borrowed my daughter Mumsy's to see how it works. So we're gonna try this out. I'm just gonna put a couple of drops of this CeraVe in here. And I'm gonna pour a little bit of my water that's in here. You say not much water from the reviews that I was reading. And it's supposed to like really foam up. Okay, so I just poured a tad bit of water. There's not a lot in there. I hope that I put enough. And I'm gonna put this top on. It's just so damn cute. And you're supposed to do this like over and over again. So let's see if it sets up. I don't really know how many times you're supposed to do this, but somebody told me they had to pump and pump and pump, okay? This ain't doing a damn thing. I don't think I put enough water in there. Oh, I do see some bubbles. Yeah, I ain't put enough water in there. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. It's coming along, y'all. I don't know how much bubbles it's gonna make, but we're gonna see. Okay. Oh, it like made it into like a foam. Look at that. It made it into a phone. Look. Oh, that's dope. Get it all over the place. That's kind of cool. All right. So if you want to make your facial cleanser stretch, you know, get more for your money, get you one of these little bubblers off of Shein. She in that. She got them bubbles going. Girl, what? That was really neat. Okay. All right. You just got to put the right amount of water. I would put, you know, the same amount of water as I would the same amount of facial cleanser, you know? So also they did send me some of these charcoal nose strips right here. And I really have never used any type of nose strips. Let me just tell y'all about me. I don't put a lot of stuff on my face. I just don't. I never have. Um, I've never had an issue with any type of acne. So, you know, I will get a pimple every now and then, but I wash my face with Noxzema and Glory, um, damn, what's the other thing I use? I forget the other name, but I wash my face with a certain type of facial soap. And then if I'm wearing makeup, I will put on Noxzema afterwards and I'll just sit on my face for like 20 minutes. And then after that, I'll put either cocoa butter on my face or I also use this here. Either one. I don't be putting like a lot of stuff on my face at night or during the daytime. When I was growing up, we didn't have all this stuff. So I just, I just keep doing what I've been doing. And I think my skin looks pretty damn good for it to almost be 50 years old. You know what I'm saying? But if you like these nose strips, it does help with, you know, removing any type of bacteria or dirt from your skin, which is great. And it's made with activated charcoal. These strips draw out impurities, cleaner and more radiant skin. So take five to 10 minutes a day and use this. But I've never used a nose strip before in my life, Um, but it says it takes out impurities and such. So we're going to have to give it a try. So then the next item is these charcoal facial bubbling masks. So these are also from their slow Sunday line. It does come with five of these in here. Nose strips came with 10 in case you were wondering. Wondering. So this comes with five in here. Awful heavy and thick. Now this one is supposed to bubble up after cleansing. Open the mask and apply it on your face. Wait for 10 minutes to enjoy the bubbling effect. Then evenly massage your face to enhance the effect. So this is supposed to just like really, really clean your face. And I want to try this out so bad. I don't be putting a whole bunch of stuff on my face. Like I really, really don't. I do want to try this. You know, I'm going to have Mumsy try this. She loves facial masks. And this might be good for her. This has tea extract in it and it's a bamboo charcoal, which is really, really great for the skin. The tea extract is definitely 
consistently wear through the skin. I don't know. I have like loads of face masks in my collection, but I barely ever use them. I think like I probably use a face mask twice a year. Yeah, I don't use all of that stuff on my face, but I will make sure my face is clear and clean. Now they did send me these super cute Christmas fingernail press-ons. Y'all know she and be having so many different nail press-ons. It's super affordable. It does come with a small emery board. And these nails look like little Santas, like little Santa hats. Really cute. It is after Christmas, so I guess for me, I would probably save this for next holiday. Or there are some that don't have the actual hat on them. The length is really nice as well. These are really short. These are super short which is not bad. So if you gotta work on a keyboard all day, then these are, these are definitely work for you. And if you don't wanna go and spend money at a nail salon, then girl, pop you on some of these real quick. It's for the occasion. And then you can pop them off real easily. I do miss going to the nail salon though. You know, I don't really like to sit too long for that anyway. I don't know, I'm just not the type of person who likes to sit too long and get my nails done. Can you do these in 10 minutes? Cause if not, then I gotta go. But these ones I really do like a lot and I really want to try these because I did have these, I think in my Shein wish list. These are very, very pretty, the gold and the champagne like um ombre effect very pretty are a little bit on the long side i remember when i was getting my nails done y'all remember when i used to get my nails done all the time these are the ballerina style nails now the one thing for me is i needed to be a little bit wider at the tip but these are still cute they're not too long either they're really actually not too long and I will put them on, but girl, that'll take me a whole video. We're not about to sit here and do it. But I like these though. Oh, look, I didn't even know that some of them have like a little design right here at the top. Now that is so cute. These are super cute. I like these. These are not too long for me. Um, but if you're a starter to nails, then I definitely wouldn't suggest getting like a really long nail like that. These are super cute. Really, really nice. They have so many nice nails on Shein. Girl, let, let me tell y'all, I do got quite a few when they press on nails. I don't know why I buy stuff and then I don't even use it. You know, it'd be the look for me. I'd be like, oh, I want this. I want this. I want this. I want everything. Now, one item that they sent me and I was really excited to use it is this right here. Now, at first I was like, what is this? What, what is this? And of course I did have to look up the skew and this is so you don't have to use your fingertips to dab in your makeup. It has like this really soft fingertip feel at the end and you just press it in. So I want to see how this goes. We're going to try this out along with their makeup from the She Glam that just came out. They have a new um, line out on She Glam, which is the Chrome Zone and it comes with these paint pots, eyeshadow paint pots. They sent me three of them and also some of their eyeliner. I'm not really sure how many items are in the chrome zone, but I did try these on a few days ago. I had it on in one of my videos and I tried to wear it naked, like meaning no eyeshadow on top of it, just to see how it would work. And it was pigmented, but I really feel like you do need to use these along with some type of eyeshadow to really bring it out. You can tell from the bottom, the bottle is really chrome-like. You see that? Very pretty, very chrome-like. Okay. Here is called Hip Gnosis. Now look at this purple. Isn't that pretty? And I'm gonna swatch it and it feels like so soft and like jelly like buttery like buttery like and it goes on It reminds me of like liquid gold. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Really pretty and then when you move your hand it gives you like different colors really nice, right? Look at that But this is look at that So pretty that is so pretty and that one is called hypnosis. This color right here is called, this one is called cosmetic pearl. And look at that. And this is what it looks like inside, like this white color. Like I said, really soft. It's just so buttery soft. Look at that. Isn't that really pretty? This is like some really galactic, out of spacey like type of makeup. I, I love the color and the way it reflects and it kind of like changes colors. I love that. And then this one right here, uh, this is called Mothership. And it gives you off like that tealish green look. Then when you open it up, it gives me like this mermaid type of green. Pretty, right? And it's just so soft and it gives you, it comes out like flakes. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Like it just looks so pretty. So pretty. So, so pretty. I love it. I love it. Now, it doesn't tell you how to apply it. So, I'm just going to use my fingertips because it's so buttery soft. Now, you don't want to put a lot in one area. I did notice because it gets kind of like cakey, kind of like. And it has like these perfect size flakes. But if you put too much, you see how it starts to look. 
So you don't want to add a lot of this because a lot can go a whole lot of ways. A little is enough. So just from my hand alone, this stuff is so pretty. I love the coloring of it. You just got to be careful when you're applying it to your face, like I said, because if you put too much of the product onto your fingertip, you're going to have like bigger flakes and too many flakes in one area. A little bit goes a long way with this particular chrome gel. These are some really pretty colors and it has a good hold on it. Look at that. It doesn't wipe off as easy. So that's a good thing, I guess. I should try like the other color. I'm gonna try like this, that purple color. And then it dries pretty fast on the skin. You probably can see it better up close in person, but the less you use, the less clumpy and flakes it's gonna give you. So I have used so many different um, concealers on my face. This is one of the She Glams that I've had. I'll be honest and tell you, they do have some really nice eyeshadow, I mean, concealer. It's a nice consistency and it lasts a nice amount of time. And the color that I just used, I have a medium and then I also have a fair. So what I want to use is I want to use this little stick here that they sent me. Let's see how this really does because it feels so soft, but let's just see. Now, I don't really mind my hands getting dirty or my fingers getting dirty from the makeup. What I'm saying, this is some thick um, concealer. And it does feel like fingertips, but I will tell you, the difference between the fingertips and the silicone is the silicone is not going to absorb the makeup into the skin, which is going to still leave you with a lot of makeup on your face. Okay, so I would think like this would be good for little touch-ups or things like that. Not to put on your entire face or entire conceal, especially if you want to use a certain amount because it's not going to absorb into your skin as it would your fingertips. Now see, I do like to use my fingertips also for makeup, but depending on the mood I'm in or what have you, I'll just go ahead and use my Beauty Blender. Now this is definitely probably good for like areas like here. As I thought about it more, my fingertips actually do feel soft like the silicone, but it doesn't absorb into the silicone. So it's more or less just kind of making it just glide around and glide around. This is probably great for like certain areas, little touch-ups, but not when you are like applying a full face of makeup. But I really do like the She Glam Concealer. If I had to choose, I would definitely choose their concealer. It's very, it's nice, thick consistency. It's not too watery and it's not too thick like a cream. With the She Glam Concealer, you gives you great full coverage. This is great full coverage concealer. Hey y'all, so remember part of the video when I did say that I was waiting for the She Glam facial primer after I finished doing the video that night and checking the mail. Please tell me why the primer was in the mailbox. Had I known that, I would definitely check prior before even doing the video. So this is supposed to be some really good primer. That's what I heard. That's what I read. You know what I'm saying? That's what I heard. Okay. Now this is supposed to have a good grip. It's supposed to give you like an oil-free, silicone-free base. It's also supposed to hold your makeup on all day long. It's like a gel formula. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to try this because I mean, I use plenty different primers from spray primers to silicone based primers to like lotion based kind of moisturizing primers I use all of them and my skin is oily like I said in the video my skin is oily so we're gonna see what this do I didn't already wash my face the only thing I did off camera was my eye makeup but I will tell you this I do have on that um glitter gel that I was showing you guys I have on the mothership one on my eyes I don't have no eyeshadow on with it and just this this is alone okay but I do have concealer on my eyelids let's give it a try let's give it a go mm -hmm, girl you already know so this is what the bottle looks like like really chic, you know, she glad be getting it going on. I'm not gonna say that I love everything that they have, but they do have a nice collection of things that you might wanna try. It's 1.52 fluid ounces. So let's give it a, a try. Good, good grip, hydrating primer. I guess you gotta pump it a couple of times. I like to put stuff on the back of my hand. It has a nice light scent. Like it smells clean, clean scent. Okay, so to me, it just feels like it's getting sticky. You know, it just feels like that's what it's feeling like to me. I don't know if it's gonna hold my foundation on all day because like I said, my skin is oily and it just seems like it eats up foundation. Plus, I really don't like to keep it on all day. Once I'm done with my videos, I really do like to take it off because girl, I can't be bothered with all of that stuff on my face. But we're gonna just give it a try, you know, see how it do. We're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put on my concealer. Or should I put on my foundation? You know, sometimes you just uh, do it differently. I think I'm gonna do it differently today. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my foundation.
All right, you guys, so I went ahead and finished my makeup. This is how it came out. I can't tell you if it's going to last all day or not because, you know, I just put it on. I mean, it was a nice base for the makeup. Um, Normally, you can tell after I've done, like, a couple of videos that my makeup needs to come off, especially, like, under the eyes. So we shall see. It did come out nice. My face, my canvas looks really nice and smooth. But it is a nice canvas. It's a nice, smooth canvas to give you, like, a nice, smooth canvas. So I will say that about the makeup. Um, I have the eyeliner on under my eyes, which I think came out really nice. Now these are their eyeliners. These are their gel liners and they do feel so soft, super soft. Now this one right here, and these are so soft. These eyeliners are, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, that's a beautiful color very soft so they easily break so you don't want to unscrew too much products because like i said it's very soft and they do break easily the next one this is a very pretty green that's a nice green but it depends on how the light hits it and how it will look this is a really pretty green this is like a different kind of green so this is like an olive type of green, if you can see it. But then when you turn your hand a different way, it looks different. Look at that. Real pretty. I don't know which one I want to try on. Let's see. This is like a really cute color. Do you see that green? That's a nice color. Now let's try the blue one. You see how nice they just glide on? Look at that. Wow. These are nice. I like that they come with a little brush at the end, so don't pull the whole thing off like I did or else you'll see this. So you gotta make sure to put it back in and there's a little cap on the top so that way you can smear it in. These colors came out really nice. I do like the eyeliner. I think my favorite out of this new chrome zone is the eyeliner because look how soft it is. It's very pigmented. These are really pretty colors. I will link them below. Really pretty colors. Girl, look at that. Mm. And y'all, these things do not wipe off easy, okay? These are definitely smudge proof. I'm not getting anything. Guess I'm gonna have to use some oil. At least you know your makeup is gonna hold. These are so soft, these gel liners, that they will easily break. So you only wanna like untwist a little bit, a very little bit at a time, so that way it doesn't break off. The um, gel, the glitter gel, that came out really nice too. Today was a different day for me. So, you know, I was able to really see how the makeup looked and I put like a nice heavy coat on the gel liner. The gel liners are so soft, you don't even feel it on your eyelid, especially on the under part. That's the cool thing about it. Other than that, the look came together. I'll be able to tell after I'm done recording, you know, give the primer a good try. It is nice and sticky it does give a nice grip and i do like that instead of it just like kind of like laying on top it kind of like sucks it in and hydrates it in versus like the silicone kind of like i like to use it's kind of like a it's kind of over on the top of it it's not really in my skin so i think i'm, I'm you know this might be a good primer depending on what you like oh girl yes i hope y'all enjoyed this video it was kind of like all over the place but you know check out she glam check out she in you know what i'm saying where you can get really great products for a fraction of the price i mean i had a good time with you guys it's always great to chit chat and talk with you guys and try out products i love you all Stay deep and delicious. Happy New Year. And let me know what you think about these colors. These are so pretty.